Hello and welcome my beautiful mermaids and mermen. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of February the 19th to the 25th year of 24. I wanted to let you know that George is here, my wingman. He's right beside me. I always like to show you, George, when you come in. He's 14 years old and we cherish every minute that we have together. So he always wants to be in my healing room. And when I'm doing Reiki sessions, I have to pull them out because he wants to pull the blanket off of the bed and my cat wants to get up on the bed with a client and it makes it difficult for us to concentrate. So they love and feel the energy in this room. So on that note, let's go see what your weekend or rather your week has in store for you my beautiful mermaids and mermen my sea sponges of the sea as you know i am a fellow pisces as well so i always look forward to the reading as well so let's see what we have well first of all our download message that we've been given is let it go and go with the flow so any any problems or stress or um anxiety issues that you've been going and, and or rather having to deal with you know the universe is saying let go let god this is about realizing that we can't continually uh, let things uh, stir up our concentration and get up in our head because it really holds us back from moving forward and actually feeling our joy and our happiness here. So this is about not pushing things too hard, not trying to fight the status quo, uh, not trying to take on all the burdens of the world. We're just going to let it go this week and we're going to go with the flow. Let the chips fall where they may because Pisces, you're going to be able to handle this no matter what. Now, coming in with your oracle messages, your your energy, you've got the older man, you've got March, and you've got the harp. So some of you, you know, may be dealing or having a situation that is, you know, circulating around an older individual in your life. This person could be your father, your grandfather, uh, you know, an older man, an uncle, uh, maybe it's your employer, a neighbor, or a friend's uh, relative, uh, or, you know, friend's father. But this is, you know, it doesn't say it's good, it doesn't say it's bad, Pisces. What it means is just be, pre be prepared. You might be in the company of this, this gentleman this week. Something's going to happen profound next month in March for Pisces. It is spring. It's a new beginning. You might be deciding to do things new. Maybe you're going to be spring cleaning, cleaning out things, getting ready for, uh, you know, uh, the new the new season. Um, this is about regrowth. This is about new growth. This is about, uh, you know, things, you know, giving birth to new ideas in March uh, because it is spring and spring is new rebirth, right? It's the beginning of all nature coming into play again. And this is something that it could be happening to you. You've been making great strides anyway, Pisces. You've been making some uh, tweaking things and changing things and you get bored. You don't want to sit in the same spot every day. You don't want to do the same thing every day. You don't want to have... Uh, it's too tedious for you, Pisces. You're too creative to, to just sit, sit and do the same thing day in, day out. Even if you have the same job, you're going to change things up. You're going to do things differently. Now the harp comes in and it says you're going to have great happiness. So whatever's happening in March or as we're moving forward, we have seen uh, progress here. We have seen success. We have seen rewards coming in for our creative juices flowing and our passion moving towards things, changing things up and being focused and consistent um, uh, moving forward and a lot of it has to do with our careers we're, we're seeing it we're going to see improvement in your careers and that part of your life and also you know those that are looking for love chances are it'll find you Pisces you never have trouble finding love you never have trouble finding people finding you so great happiness and let's see what we have for your reading now let's see what we have here for us Coming in our first row, which could be past tense or, <clears throat> excuse me, the beginning of the week. Pisces, we have the tower, we have the judgment, and we have the four of the four of wands which is a great card you know something could suddenly you could have just made this had this epiphany on your own where you all of a sudden the third eye opens the light goes on and you go i need to make some drastic change here i need to do things differently but for others there could have been something that was wasn't on a firm foundation to begin with that came crashing down and came to a massive and quick end when this tower shows up it's a wake-up call for all of us. And we need to realize that change is inevitable. And we're going to make it. 
okay and generally when we do it works out in our favor it's for the better it's about not wanting to ever have this situation leave us this way again this could have been the end of an abrupt end of a situation a friendship a relationship a job um, anything that has happened suddenly in your life has made you have to step back and say I need to change things I need in order for me to go forward I have to build a new foundation a new beginning and you will and you are you've got the judgment card here and it's like you've been given a second chance <clears throat> Pisces being able to go after your goals, being able to create the passion and the creative juices that are flowing through you. You've made a decision. You've done some self-reflection. You've come to that point where you've decided, I'm going to do what I need to do for me. And you're going to do that. <clears throat> this is also about keeping the, only the people with you as you go through these new doors of experience and this new direction you're going forward to. It's like you're saying, to you know, you look up at the sky and you're saying, thank you. It's a blessing in disguise. And you're only going to take those with you that you truly want want to uh, support you this time it's about being selective about the people in your circle your tribe your soul pod <clears throat> Now, you've got the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands is celebration, it's strength, it's unity. Uh, it's also the card that says you're going to see peace and harmony restored to the home life. Somebody could be returning home. They may be moving back home. You may be returning home to yourself. You may be, uh, you know, you could be renovating, moving, uh, doing anything new to your home right now. But it is a card of great celebration, too. There could be an occasion that you're going to be invited to, a wedding, um, you know, the the uh, christening of a child, a uh, renewal of vows anything like that <clears throat> and maybe it's going to happen in march maybe that's when it's going to happen it's beautiful now coming in coming in your center position pisces which could be the energy you're feeling now or could be um the middle of the week you've got the eight of pentacles you've got the nine of cups and you've got the five so let's go to the five of swords right away five of swords swords is that card of struggle <clears throat> now remember i said let it let let go and go with the flow this is about not going getting involved in no-win situations and sometimes we do and we get caught up in the heat of the moment we say things that we can't take back so pisces um <clears throat> this is a card that says pick and choose your battles wisely because whenever we go into battle mode there's consequences and there's going to be risks and we need to weigh those is it worth going into that so it takes a long time to get through this Pisces but try to pick and choose your battles wisely this week just go with the flow and let everything else go now here you are working hard Pisces this is the changes you're making here with the tower card to rebuild a new foundation and the eight of pentacles says working diligently trying to perfect your craft making those changes therein to do that to see yourself change things and work your way up the rung then next rung on the ladder to success some of you you could be apprenticing you could be learning hands-on a new job that or you could be studying something so that you can add that to your resume so that you can elevate yourself up there in the next tax bracket nine of cups wishes fulfilled yes so working hard for your goals is definitely paying off rebuilding this new foundation moving in a new direction is giving you reason now to be able to collect what you so rightfully deserve getting those rewards here um, and being able to be happy again the nine of cups is wishes fulfilled you work towards these goals and now pisces you can swim away in a beautiful new direction and know that you're going to see success coming into you <clears throat> now it's definitely coming into you because here's the sun you've got the emperor and you've got the hierophant beautiful cards this week pisces i'm happy so the star as we know is the is the best card in the deck it's giving birth to your dreams it's new opportunities it's being able to see light at the end of the tunnel it's being able to walk in your light and your glow and you know, being seen, being recognized for all the hard work and energy that you've created. This is a new beginning. This is, you know, all over well-being, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically all over well-being and can be the restoration of good health again if some of you have been having a problem. <clears throat> so the sun now is this being able to give birth to your new goals and seeing them coming in successfully the emperor by doing that gives you the confidence to sit in the seat of power here being able to look over your court and be logical and organized here uh, you're not going to be jumping into situations and allowing your heart to lead your head today when you get the emperor this is about doing things in a in in a very organized manner and you're starting to do that pisces you <clears throat> really pisces you 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 like spontaneity but you you really don't like 
like surprises and you like to be prepared because let's face it we are control freaks we're either making a decision to swim upstream or down we don't levitate in the middle and you know so this is you finally stepping up into the seat of power my beautiful Pisces and being uh, being your own boss some of you maybe you are self-employed or you're thinking of becoming self-employed but you're definitely going to be confident now you're going to be able to to know you're in the seat of power and you have control of all your emotions the hierophant yeah tapping into spirituality Pisces allowing yourself to walk that path maybe you're joining spiritualist groups or holistic healing groups or you could be studying revising or researching them um, this this is knowing that you have the powers that be that have your back, Pisces. Most Pisces are extremely spiritual. That doesn't mean they're extremely religious. It means they believe in a higher self. They, it, it means they believe in the law of attraction. It means that they believe they're being protected, that they, they stand in that circle. And you've heard me say this, I stand in that circle of white light. And, um, you know, I know I'm protected and I've always felt lucky and, and I, you know, that's just how it's been. But this is a hierophant that says you may be tapping into your higher self spirituality taking yourself to that space and place and time where you can do some self-reflection and continuing to do your scripting and your law of attraction Pisces is definitely uh, you know propelling you in this direction that you need to be going of success now let's see what we have here in addition to this reading let's see what we've got here let's have our clarifiers you're going to have great happiness by going with the flow here something is happening in march and you might be uh, having a situation where you're dealing with an older man somebody around you who may be relying on your help or your advice uh, this could be somebody you know in your life right now that you're going to be with <clears throat> change is coming in it's inevitable it could be sudden for some of you and it's a blessing in disguise you're going to feel that you're blessed to be able to make these changes and go in a new direction um <clears throat> you know being able to celebrate things here being able to get notice for your hard work and effort and by all means walking away from any drama that certainly isn't yours to carry or a burden to carry you're in the seat of power my beautiful pisces step there hold that seat and and you know stand in your confidence and hold your head proud you know the sun shining down on you pisces and it's all for your greater good <clears throat> let's see what we've got here with our clarifiers coming in with the tower you have the hangman so um, even though, you know, this could have been a sudden change that came in, you're, 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 you, you may have, you may be in a position where you had felt, because this could be past tense, um, <clears throat> or the beginning of the week, where you feel as though you're hanging in limbo, you know, not knowing which direction to go, not knowing, you know, do I, you know, that, and that's Pisces. I mean, that's who you are. You, you, you're often like that. Do I go this way or that way? Do I say yes? Do I say no? You know, we don't often ask anybody's permission. Like some people will say, well, what do you think? No, we don't do that. We just try to, we just take our time. Um, that's okay because while you're there, you're staying your own unique self, Pisces. That's who you are. But you may be thinking of new ways and looking at things from a higher perspective. So when you do start rebuilding this new foundation, you're going to hit the ground running and you're going to know what it is you want. On top of the judgment, you have, the temp <clears throat> the temperance and that's balance you know making a uh doing self-reflection work here uh, doing your shadow work making a decision to go in a new direction have making a judgment call but you're taking your time again because with the hangman and with the temperance that's what that's about that's about taking your time not rushing in uh making any snap decisions but again we talked about your back being covered here. You've got spirit. You've got help. You've got higher self that's around you, that's protecting you and saying, you know, giving you guidance here. And it's good for you to listen to those messages, my beautiful Pisces. With your celebratory card, the, the, the four of wands, you've got the queen of pentacles. Again, planting your seeds and knowing that you have to wait for your harvest to come in. Okay. Uh, you know, the queen of pentacles, she's mother earth. She's got a green thumb. What she puts her hands to, she, she makes grow. Um, this is the ability to realize that things Rome wasn't built in a day and that every little step forward is progress even if it's not fast because often Pisces get <laughs> very impatient if it doesn't happen yesterday they don't like it okay <clears throat> coming in with that beautiful working hard for your goals you've got the the with the eight of pentacles you've got the ten of swords so you may have been in a position here that caused that tower to come down 
also some battle you might have had to fight here. Um, Pisces, it's the end of that. The ten of the ten of swords is you know you felt as though you were rock bottom, and this might have been years ago because Pisces, you've gone through transformation now for the last gosh last eight to ten years, and and, and you're continuing to do that, and you will continue to do that because Pisces, <clears throat> that's how <clears throat> excuse me, that's how you grow, you flow, and you expand, and you like that change. This is now able you're able now to get up. Whatever happened in the past, Pisces, it's over. It's gone. You're going, you're letting go and you're going with the flow now. You're able to go after your goals. And right now, a lot of you, it is your job and your career and your business you're building. Coming in with that five of no win situation battle um swords you've got the ace of wands this is a new beginning to change things here walking away from things that you used to get involved in and the battles you used to have to fight and the struggles you went through you, you're realizing they're no win situations and now you're opening doors to new opportunity you could be handing the olive leaf or being receiving the olive leaf uh from somebody as a form of an apology and a healing here but the but this is taking um this is going after something here. This is about seeing doors of opportunity opening and you taking action and realizing that you can move forward with any situation. With that nine of cups, what do you get? You get that wheel of fortune. Yes, ride it hard, my beautiful Pisces. This is good luck, good karma, good energy. All the happiness that you ever imagined could happen to you. All because of your own hard work, due diligence, determination, and focusing on your goals. So beautiful fall, you know, the beautiful wheel of fortune comes in. With the sun, you've got the three of <coughs> swords. Yeah, you know what? It's over. You Something suddenly happened here. You felt as though you were betrayed, stabbed in the back and hurt. The three of swords says you went through all those emotions. And I know I did, but mine was five years ago. And you learn to deal with it and you move on. And you realize that the universe steps forward here with the hierophant. And, 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 you know, and the universe steps forward and says, you know what? This is a blessing in disguise. It was inevitable. You were too good, too kind. You took it in because you're the sea sponge. You didn't want to make uh, any waves. And then you get hurt at the end of the day. So this is healing through that. And I think a lot of us, you know, we realize now that the world is a beautiful place. The sun's going to shine again. And we're, we're given that beautiful clear sight line now of uh, being seeing a situation for what it was and we heal through that okay the emperor coming in with the emperor what do we got we've got the ten of wands yeah you pushed hard you worked hard you felt like you were pushing dead weight uphill you felt like you had all the burdens of the world on your shoulder however you pulled it off but was it fun probably not so now you're realizing that you know you made you made the summit you're coming down the other side and it's going to be easier for you you're not getting involved in those no win situations those battles that aren't yours those you know <clears throat> that that drama that doesn't belong to you anymore Pisces you're healing through that you're stepping up into your seat of power and now you're going to be moving forward and things are going to be a lot easier tens are the ends of things and it's the end of that struggle you were going through now the Hierophant what have you got you've got the ten of cups oh Pisces you got the ten of cups yes you had the nine of cups you got the wheel of fortune what more do we want right so it's going to be an epic march here <clears throat> we're going to have great happiness and when we get the ten of cups it's happy ever after after things are flowing things are going in directions we want them to go happiness and home life happiness and knowing that even though it's going to rain tomorrow and we go through those storms we're going to see the sun the very next day and or soon and we're going to be able to move forward at a great pace Pisces, this is a beautiful reading for you. You can't go wrong with this reading. You know, you got the sun, the nine of cups, the ten of cups, the wheel of fortune. Yeah, the sun is shining down on you and so is spirit. Well, enjoy this beautiful week, my Pisces. You're going through change, transformation. Just go with it. Let it go and go with the flow because you're doing everything right that you need to do. Wishing you a beautiful remainder to today and a wonderful, prosperous, happy, healthy, and create a week for you next week, Pisces. And always know I send you lots of love and many blessings, and I'll see you soon.